Felicia here from Cannabis Culture, and we're going to be sitting here with Buckshot and the rest of the crew from Boot Camp Click. Smith and Wesson is in the building. Yes, sir. Shut the duck, duck down. Roger, we're good. Do you guys have uh, anything planned for 420 this year? We celebrate down at Vancouver Art Gallery. Usually. Yeah, what we have planned is a big message that is to tell everybody. Get your local promoters and your local agents to book Boot Camp Click for 420, and we will be down here immediately. I mean, yesterday, I mean, right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a big pot day, but like every day is a big pot day for us, you know? Yeah. It's like we do this regularly. This is normal, you know, mental meditation for us. So, you know, you know we party. Yeah. This, 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 is, uh, this is just like a part of like eating. So that's your everyday routine. Yeah, we don't, you know, to some it might seem like a, a holiday thing, but to us it's like it's everyday living. Yeah. It's a big legalized day Everything for us out here. I mean, they, had, they had, they had, I think they, they do it in New York. No, but, it, it, but it's good to bring attention to the legal aspects of uh, marijuana. And that's one, one thing that I do like about 420, because you see how diverse it is, and you get people to connect from all over the world and really talk to the politicians and the policy makers and let them know how, how necessary uh, marijuana is and um, him. So, I know that Obama recently has uh, gone a little downhill with pot users. How are you guys feeling about that? We just recently um, raided the Oaksterdam. Yeah, 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 they raided Oaksterdam. That was horrible. I think that it's tough when it's an election year, you know? You always find the politicians going hard on, court, uh, on uh, issues that are not really um, you know, important. Like, it's more important for them to raid Oaksterdam as opposed to, <coughs> as opposed to uh, uh, finding what really happened with um, George Zimmerman. You know, it's, 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 it's just like, it's ludicrous on it. It's like kind of backwards. Like marijuana don't kill people, people kill people. Yeah. You know I mean? Like, we should be more focused on getting the criminals, getting these criminals off the streets, not pot smokers. Like, pot smokers, I mean, come on, Obama. You know, you just, yeah. <laughs> come on, G-Dub. Come on, G-Dub. They probably smoking a doobie right now. <laughs> we definitely got to approach it from a different. You got to come, all you pot advocates and all of the weed advocates, marijuana advocates, trees advocates, whatever way, whatever name you want to call yourself. Um, try, you know, try a lot of approaches, man. Take many different approaches to, 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 to doing things. And, and, and let me tell you something. You know, one of the worst things you want to do is try to come at a politician with a with a kind heart, you know, or or heart at all. You know, heart and logic don't mix; they go let me, separate. Let me say something. I don't wanna, I don't mean I don't mean to cut your wisdom, but you might think like you know a lot of rappers are real silly with the weed smoke, and you know it's like a, you know the smoke weed. A lot of us don't like you know we don't like to promote it because you get stigmatized that it's just for like. Criminals, like people who smoke weed are criminals, uh, drug addicts. Like that's crazy to me. Like my aunt, she she um she just passed away from cancer, right? She was she was dying. She was in her she was terminal terminally ill. Um, all the doctor could prescribe for her was uh, one of the things that the doctors prescribed for her was Marinol. Wow. Right? And you guys know Marinol. You don't know Marinol. It's basically it's, um she she um took it orally pill. And it allowed her to eat. Yeah, it's a synthetic THC. Right? Mm -hmm. So it was no, it wasn't about getting high and all of that. It was just like it, it has so many different healing qualities to it that we need to really address this stuff. So, yeah, 420. If one day we get to really like, you know, address these political issues through entertainment and educate people, I mean, I mean we you're definitely gonna see us out there. You know, like we do that every day. Look, the bottom line is this. When we attack it from the political standpoint of view, attack it from the financial point of view. Let them know that the, the, the money versus the money versus now and then. The money that marijuana makes now, legally, and the money that it will make that it makes illegally. It's a tax thing. It's a money thing. When you say, look, if you legalize marijuana, right, it will be the same as legal, legalizing tobacco. Keep that conversation in order. That, that's it. When you legalize marijuana and you start to think about all of the benefits that it brings as far as establishment, 
taxes, money, just legalize the money. If it's a billion dollar a year industry without being legal, then it will become a two billion dollar industry when it becomes legal. Why? Because now you have people who can openly transport it. Doesn't it make sense now? You say, well no, now it's gonna lose money because now that it's legal, nobody wants it. That's not true. When it's legal, people now take the advantage of taking opportunities, transport is, transport is now getting a job, people who have to bag it, people who have to write the prescriptions, anything, whatever. That's the point of view we have to take to get marijuana passed in Congress. We can't try to explain to them the medicinal rhetoric, you know, the, the policy, because they're saying we have Pfizer, we have uh, 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 pharmaceutical companies that are here. Why are you telling me about a, a medical answer when I already have one? Mm -hmm. But what, I, what, I, what you can never get enough of is money. So marijuana brings money. And at one point in time, it was bringing legal money. Now it's just being bringing illegal money just because some people are amending laws and putting uh, laws in effect that makes it that way. What's it like where uh, where you're from, Brooklyn? I mean, they don't got as good weed. You know, they don't they don't got as good marijuana as they have out in uh, in uh, uh, other places like Vancouver. <laughs> but it's cool though. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's. You know, we, we get something, we got the sour, you know what I'm saying? We got the sour by the hour that give me power. <laughs> you know, we got the perp. Um, and then, then we got the, then we got lots of, we got Kush. And then we got, you know, blacks, black weed chocolate. And then the rest of it is basically Reggie Bush or Reginald Danny. Or, <laughs> uh, sound sound. Yeah, Reginald Danny, Reggie Bush, however you want to regular, Reg, you know, just, the normal. The normal. Norman. <laughs> Bud <Yeah>. Light. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a bag of Norman? Like, yeah. <laughs> Bud Light. <laughs> I like that. But yeah, Brooklyn is cool, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are starting to come out now that promoting the weed, you know what I'm saying? Promoting yeah. marijuana. <laughs> Shout out to Wiz Khalifa. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Snoop Dogg, you know. Man, Joe Rogan. Bro, shout out to Joe Rogan. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Joe Rogan is a very, very thespianistic, intelligent, versatilistic, whatever the word you want to he, He's a genius. Genius. He, uh, he's in one of, he narrated one of the movies we have, The Union. It's all about pot, the whole thing. It's amazing. It's all in, in Canada. That's right. Yeah. That's they right. got a they got a sequel coming out called Culture High. Yeah, number two. Yo, shout him out, man. I'm the he talks about he knows he knows a lot of Jews, everything from aliens to politics to marijuana. So. We have a lot of uh, medical marijuana out here. So do you have a lot like in New York? Are you allowed? Started, they just really started legalizing it in New Jersey, so it's yeah. right over the Bridge so and through the tunnel for us. They're bringing out like dispensaries and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. Is it hard for people um, to get one? It's, it's sort of hard. Well, you know, there's loopholes and everything going mm -hmm. around in the hood, but as of right now, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to get that card. So. Yeah. They're going to eventually do it because money rules the world. You've seen it now. Eventually, you're going to see it. Money rules the world, and marijuana brings a lot of money, and once the image of marijuana changes the way the politics change. There was a point in time when if you wanted to be a president, a mayor, governor, anybody, if anybody said anything that damaged your pristine image, it ruined your chances of becoming that person. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, with the invention of the internet technologies, people just want the bottom line. They're like, yeah, that's the president. Wait a minute, but he was smoking marijuana last week. The public is like, so what? You don't give a damn. How's he doing a job when it comes to Lala? And that's that's what it, that's what we evolved to where it was before. They were going, oh my God, I, he did marijuana. I can't perceive. I don't want to support him. I don't want to support him either. You know, and that's that was the old way. Those people are dying off. Well, thanks a lot, you guys. It was awesome. Can't wait for you guys tonight at Fortune. Hey, everybody, support Black Moon, Smith and Wesson, Elder Skelter, OGC, Bootcamp, Click, Duck Down, the whole movement. Whenever you see the logo. You know where to go, so go to duckdown.com, and that's what we do. That's how we do it. Let me tell you something else right now.
And I'm going to put it to you loud and clear. Maybe clear and loud. Whenever we come to the V, you know what I'm saying, we always check our man Al. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Al in the background. You know what I'm saying? Al the Jar Man. You know what I'm saying? You know. Al the Alchemist. You know what I'm saying? Al the Alchemist. You know what I'm saying? Because he's very good with alchemy. He knows how to... He just knows the chemicals of, 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 of the life cycle. So that's why we call him Al the Alchemist. Get it? <laughs> See me, I'm just grinding. That's all I do. Grind, grind, grind. Ain't nothing wrong with grinding. Grind, Tell grind, 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 yeah? <laughs> Logic out of you? I'm good, man. What's up, Pedro? You know? Liking the scenery. Taking some flicks. Nice. Peace.